Well, Battelle Hall was, uh, was built in 1980, and for what it was, and you know, in its early life, it, it filled a, a great role. You know, it was, it was the concert venue for, for Columbus. It was the um, family show venue for Columbus. That's where all of the trade shows went. That's where all the conventions went. You know, uh, I have many fond memories of Battelle Hall. When my children were very young, I remember taking my son, J.D., uh, and my son Justin uh, to uh, a BMX bike uh, a challenge race. All the uh, Martin Luther King breakfasts that occurred there, the largest in the country were in Battelle Hall. Uh, the breakfast has uh, been as large as 6,000, and each year we average uh, now as about 4,000, 3,500 3, to 4,000. Uh, people come because they feel good about coming. Uh, there are many persons who have come who say every year, I don't want to miss, I don't want to miss a Martin Luther King breakfast. I've been coming ever since the first one, and now my, uh, my children bring their children to the breakfast. Well, I've been in the convention center for 19 and a half years. Patel Hall was a concert hall. It was um, a, almost like a warehouse that did provide a lot of um, entertainment. Rodney Dangerfield with 38 Special. Ice Capades, WWF, Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus. Watching an elephant walk through Patel Hall, that was kind of interesting. It was a, it was an old, tired space, and you know, Battelle Grand is is a ballroom. It's a gorgeous space. Wow, um, I cannot believe uh, what this used to be and what it is now. It's amazing to see the um, the transformation of what was the stark brick concrete building into what it is now. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. The new Battelle Hall is nothing like the old Battelle Hall. It is a uh, marvelous experience realm that has been created. I think it's important to note that uh, there is no facility in the world today that is and should be thought of as a build it and they will come facility. And we'd be foolish to uh, uh, disregard this as an opportunity to put Columbus on the map. The first thing I saw in Battelle Hall was uh, Ike and Tina Turner, to tell you how long ago it was. And um, it was really, um, it was used as also indoor basketball for uh, and indoor soccer for teams that Columbus had at one time in its life. When the old Battelle Hall was built in 1980, it was in the middle of really nothing up here in the north side of Columbus. The vision for the Arena District is to create a great place, a, a, a best of class, um, nationally recognized mixed use neighborhood. And, and the, the challenge there is, is creating that 365 day a year activity center. Tell Grand is uh, and will be a very appealing space. It's gonna be a space that people will gravitate to, that'll be attractive to visitors, it'll be attractive locally, and it's gonna have a huge economic impact on downtown in the Arena District. I think the Battelle Grand totally reflects a city with a vision. The change that we're seeing in downtown Columbus is extraordinary, and this is a capstone, uh, just adding to that. Well, this Patel Hall is a, a place where I have been conducting events for 30 years. It has a wonderful history. But the fantastic new renovation has been made, this $40 million improvement here, 74,000 square feet of the latest technology, and again, the most wonderful environment. There's nothing that matches it anywhere in the Midwest or anywhere in our nation, as far as I'm concerned. Battelle Grand's renovation has created quite a buzz uh, in our industry. We think for the first time in 30 years, it's going to offer something that nobody's ever offered before, and that's a very upscale, striking, high-tech type of atmosphere, and it's by far the most spectacular room I've, uh, I've worked with. I think when people walk into the Battelle Grand that have not been to Columbus or have not been to Columbus in the last few years, they're gonna walk in this room and they'll say, wow, 
This is Columbus, Ohio. I've had the opportunity to work all over the world, and this by far um, will give Columbus the edge. Um, other ballrooms here, Battelle Grand here. Columbus has changed so much uh, since uh, Battelle Hall first opened from the, the small community it was, the kind of cow town feel it had uh, many years ago to now this vibrant, active, alive, and, and uh, uh, exciting place that people come to to work and to live and to raise a family. And, and it's a great time to be mayor of the city of Columbus. This is a major ingredient in the element of the quality of life in our community and the future prosperity of our community. A pretty space is never enough. You know, you can have a lot of pretty spaces. You know, our goal is really when a customer or an exhibitor walks into an SMG facility, from the level of service they receive to the, uh, to the friendliness of the staff, to the cleanliness of the building, they know they're in an SMG facility. We've always tried with, with our projects and throughout the Arena District to do it right, um, have, a, have a really a long-term view. I think the Convention Center also took a long-term view in what they're doing, and I think it will have a lasting impact. Battelle Grand is a grand slam. It's not just a home run, it's certainly a grand slam. On a scale of one to 10, I would say Battelle Grand is gonna be a 15. It has 50,000 square feet of main floor space. Surrounded by a 24,000 square foot mezzanine. The largest ballroom in Ohio. Located in the second most affordable trade show destination in the United States of America. It's among the largest. Most versatile. State of the art. Multi-purpose venues in the Midwest. Not only does it have floor to ceiling windows, it comes in 65,000 color combinations. Welcome to the Tell Grand.